Hello, my friends. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. That is way too low. Yeah, it's definitely too low. Hold on, just a moment. Let's go ahead and lift this up. <laughs> That's better. That's right. It's time. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Welcome back to another episode. It's Jeff. So today on Inaraki, it is a much awaited project. We are working on the walls. So right now we have OSB all stacked up here. With 10 foot sheets, we will be able to minimize the amount of cuts and the amount of seams because they will reach from floor to ceiling in this garage. So that's very exciting. This has been put off for a couple weeks now. It's gonna be heavy. There's gonna be a lot of tedium involved with this. But here we go. Over the course of this project today, you will notice a fine white bead around the bottom sills of the walls. So that's very simple. It's not necessary. It's just something I decided to do. I did notice in the wind when the dust was raging, we had an absolute dust storm a few weeks back and some dirt did blow in between the sills and the concrete. That's not a normal thing. And for those of you that don't live in this region, you simply don't understand. You know, you guys deal with storms and lightning and tree damage and thunder and all kinds of other things. We deal with dirt. We deal with silt and dirt and wind. So I have caulked around that entire perimeter just to seal that out. It also works to keep little tiny bugs out and things when it gets hot here. So that's all that that is. Is it necessary? No. Is it normal? Probably not. I just decided to do that. Let's put some walls up. It's time. Oh my gosh, look at it. <laughs> it's looking so good. <laughs> oh, I'm stepping on stuff, making a bunch of noise. Oh my gosh, it just seems so real now. Uh, this is going much quicker than I had anticipated. Yeah, I really thought these were gonna take longer to, to get measurements, you gotta scribe lines. We're doing long straight cuts uh, by hand with the seesaw, and then we're drilling corners and using the jigsaw to cut out the little boxes for the outlets and switches. But it's all going very quickly and it's just awesome these 10 foot sheets can clear from floor to ceiling that's how high this is it's extra high for my jeep to fit so that little bump up which was a part of how we did the trusses gave us some extra clearance and that was completely intentional but yeah we found out that racks actually sells 10 foot pieces of osb and they're awesome it just clears floor to ceiling it makes it so easy it also means i just have a couple vertical seams to cover up so yeah this is all coming along progress report here i'm really excited and the garage door is really cool it's really sealed in well dad can't troll me through the tarp anymore when i'm trying to do intros and outros he has to actually come through the door and troll me so we have done a lot let me show you we got the two little four foot sections up front we got this whole wall here we did most of the back wall you can see those last two little pieces there that's what we're finishing tonight this whole wall is done and it wraps all the way around 